improv games in Anagin Itch. I am Eric, and I will be your head referee tonight. And my job primarily is to get suggestions from you, the audience. This is Emily. Okay, I am the timekeeper tonight, so basically what I do is I time all of the events that they do, which take four minutes, and I give them a one minute call when they have one minute left, 30 second call when they have 30 seconds left. And, and what do those calls sound like, Emily? One minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, it's not just your normal show when you get to sit back and do whatever. No, in fact, everything you're about to see is going to come from you. And this means that we need some asked fors or suggestions. Now, here in J.H. Gillis, we have what we would call a grandma rule. What is a grandma rule, Emily? Well, it's basically you keep everything G-rated in your suggestion. So make sure they're appropriate, and they're the kinds of things that you would say around your grandmother. Mm -hmm. And, in <laughs> fact, we are at a new generation of grandmas. There's this thing called the interweb that they are now able to access, and will be filmed live for their viewing pleasure <laughs> over and over again. So if you offend them once tonight, you're offending them countless millions of times. <laughs> so I want you all to take a moment and think of all those asked fors that wouldn't be appropriate tonight. Bury them in your mind. And never think about them again. Now a good ask for is something like a pickaxe, or... Basketball. Or a tangerine. Now, in the next five seconds, I want you to yell out as many good ask fors as possible. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Melon. Oh, no, banana. <laughs> How about a banana. Banana. Oh. A ballerina. This is enough. Okay. We're going to try it again, only this time we're going to pretend that we haven't fallen asleep to the lovely music. In five seconds, I want you to... Yell out as many good ask fors as possible. Five, four, three, two, one! Hey, Karaoke! Okay, I just want to answer that, eh, Emily? Okay, now the last thing we need to teach you before we bring on the team is the improv countdown. And it goes a little something like this. We will see this scene in five, four, three, two, one! For, for those of you who are, we'll get to, that's too advanced right now. For, for those of you who really want to show off, you can do the counting in the air with your fingers, like so. For those of you who aren't that advanced yet, just clap and yell. You'll find it makes a big difference. So all together, we're going to try the clapping and yelling the numbers. Let's do this. Okay. And we will see the scene in five, four, three, two, one. Improv. And that is all you need to know. Now, do you want to meet our team? That's not good enough. Do you want to meet our team? I believe. We need an occupation. So let's hear some occupations. Doctor. 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 Okay, let's go to the dentist. The dentist. Two people, let's see this dentist room. How often do you floss? Uh, two times a day? How many times? I can't hear you. Two times a day? You should floss every day. Freeze. All right, Hannah, what did I tell you about running into glass windows? You always get a nosebleed! Okay, 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 it's not stopping, it's not stopping. Oh, I can never send you to daycare. Right. What are you doing with the pitchfork, Mary Jo? Oh, um, well, pitch, well, pitchfork. Uh, this one! Oh, that, that's Three. a fork. Darth, you crossed me for the last time! <laughs> Any teacher ever. How am I gonna conquer the dragon now? 
people just need to think about the things they do before they do them. I mean, I mean, people just need to think about the things they do before they do them, don't you think? Yeah, I think that. You know, when you go out, you gotta think, what if an alien shows up? <laughs> how am I gonna defend myself? I know how. I'd throw you out in the space and I'd run. You wouldn't <laughs> throw me out there. Okay, I wouldn't throw you, but like, I'd run faster than you. <laughs>
It said lots of wonderful things. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Oh. Since birth, oh 
always running. They were even challenged. They even had thralling races. <laughs> All right, here they go. On the count of three. One. Wait, 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 wait. It's always one, two, three, go. And then we go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> On the count of three. Three, two, three, four, eight, one. Yeah. Oh, 
This is Dr. J.H. Gillis with their life event. They asked for an object of the teenager's life, and they got hair straightener. And we'll see the scene in five, four, three, two, one. Equipment. 
Not we, sports we're, equipment. We're on improv. We don't really know Wait. what sports are. <laughs> <laughs> An object other than sports equipment. A gazoo. An ale horn. Ale horn. Pokemon. Jack in the box. Ale horn. A Christmas tree. Electron mass. I should I like an ale horn. A scale. Okay. Um, yeah. I like a toy robot. Let's go with toy robot. Okay, you asked for an object and you got toy robot. This is Dr. J. H. Gillis with their story event. And we will see this scene in five, four, three, two, one.
CIG. Give them another round of applause. So our next game, we're going to tell you a little story. This game is for six people, I believe. No, this game, yeah, no, this game is for six people. Okay, they will be telling us a fictional story from beginning to end. However, each person must continue the story in a different genre. I will indicate the change by pointing to them with my magic talking stick, which is missing right now. So I will just point to that. But um, we have the genres pre-selected. So Hannah's going to be doing horror. Connor's going to be doing western. Emma is going to be doing romance. Anna Marie is going to be doing children's movie. Mary Jo is going to be doing a musical. And Spencer is going to be doing an action movie. OK, so what we need from you, the audience, is a title of a fictional movie. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh. That definitely exists. I've watched it like <laughs> 10 times. Uh, examples of this could be like Spencer's Laboratory, Muskrats from Motor Law, The Mops <laughs> Take Over. <laughs> Anything. George Washington and Mars. Peter Castle. George Washington and Mars. Let's go with that. So, we will see this scene in five, four, three, two, one. You want know, like a sandy, sunny day on Mars? George Washington rode up on his beautiful white stallion. <laughs> George had always loved Mars. When he was a young boy, he loved to gaze at the stars. But he crossed on the dark side of Mars. <laughs> this is where creatures roamed, and nobody ever talks about it. Now, George Washington was a kind of cool guy. He had a stallion, and he thought he could do this. But all of a sudden, all the monsters came out of, the, out of Mars and started attacking him all over the place. And then, Across a crowded crater, his eyes met the eyes of another monster. And that monster he had recognized from his dream. It almost seemed unreal. I dreamed a dream. <laughs> I'm <time> gone by. <laughs> Washington sat on his down and looked him dead in the eye and said, Well, I'm in love with you, monster. <laughs> <laughs> and they jumped onto his stallion and rode away to the dismay of the other monsters. We go together with monsters and George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as the rocket set off towards Earth, all was well in the world. The rest of the monsters had a way to follow them. Oh my gosh, it seems they built their own rocket and had planned to follow them back to Earth. These monsters hated humans. They came up with their guns and their knives and all their monsterly weapons. <laughs> and it seemed that they had all turned to stars. They had gone out into the universe, and so the monsters were left empty handed. And the story of those two star-crossed lovers is now a legend because as the monsters were closing in on them, they both decided to elope and they got <laughs> married on the spot. <laughs> 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 Alas, we have come to our final game of the evening. While I go and get some toys, you explain. Okay. Is it anyway? Yeah. We're going to divide our improv team into two teams. <laughs> it's a rainbow. <laughs> 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 <It's senior. laughs> this is seniors versus juniors. These are grade 12, these are not grade 12. And um, each one is going to get a prop that they hypothetically have never seen before. So, um, what they're going to do is basically it's going to switch from team to team and each one is going to have to explore their prop in a different way using as many teams as they can. And we will see this we thing. Need, we need a magic support. <laughs> when we see a scene that we deem worthy, we honk the horn and the play goes to the next team. And it goes back and forth until 
we're out of entertainment. So we could be here for a while. And we'll see this uh, senior start. We'll see this scene in five, four, three, two, one.